All right, uh, like like Michael said, my name's Evan Berger. Um, I do work at CCI, but I uh, also consider Scott a, a close personal friend, so I'm here in both capacities. Um, so I want to talk about two things very quick, quickly. The first is how I met Scott uh, first, and um, then I want to talk about this this thing that I've been grappling with, which is which is um, the idea of dying well. What what is what is the good death? Um, so. Uh, like Pete, the first time I met Scott was was at a Bernie event. Um, it was a little before the, the campaign even started. It was in February of 2015. I went back and looked. I helped put together a town hall with uh, with Senator Sanders at the University of Iowa. And uh, again, this was a few months before he announced his candidacy. And um, so this was not a, a huge, well-produced rally. You know, it wasn't 5,000 people with intro music, that sort of thing. I think it was about 50 people in a classroom on the University of Iowa campus. And I think three reporters, the Press Citizen, um, the Daily Iowan, and then Scott. So um, uh, so Scott was one of the three, but unlike the other two, he showed up two hours early. Uh, he set up his equipment, and then he asked if I needed any help setting up <laughs> setting up the event. Um, which you know is pretty unusual if you spend any time uh, you know on the campaign trail. Reporters, um, you know, gotta love them, but they usually cause more problems for, for, for those of us on staff than they solve. So, um, but Scott wasn't wasn't the usual reporter. Um, not just because he was offering to help, but because he believed in what Bernie had to say as well. And I think you, it's true. You can be a good reporter and 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 be objective and move forward truth. Um, while at the same time acknowledging where you stand on an issue. And I think Scott embodied embodied that idea. Um, so that was the first of many events I spent with Scott. Um, like like Pete said, you know he was he was there day in and day out. I gave him I gave him countless rides. I spent hours in the car with him, um, and I learned so much from Scott. Uh, he, you know he'd been in the struggle a long time, and um, you know he taught me about past progressive candidates, past progressive movements, and uh, you know he he understood. You know Bernie was a unique kind of campaign, but he also he gave me personally some historical perspective on on where this where this movement was coming from. Um, which brings me to the second topic that I want to talk about today. So uh, that's why I went, when I found out um, that Scott had passed away, it was uh, it was really hard for me. Um, and the thing the thing that I really struggled with was the fact that uh, none of us knew until you know days and days after after he passed away. And um, it, you know w w the reason it bothered me so much is because I. I hope that it wasn't because Scott didn't want to be a bother, that he didn't think people would care about what he was going through. Because I look out today and I see all of us who do care so deeply, deeply for him. Even though he's only been here in Iowa for a couple of years, um, he, he built up this community around him, and and um, and so it was it was just really hard for me. Uh, I wish I could have said goodbye to him one last time. Um, I wish I could have, you know, I, I would have dropped everything gladly, driven up to Mason City, spent one last hour with him. Um, but what gives me kind of solace is this idea of, of dying well, of, of, of a good death. Um, you know, I think, you know, as everyone has said, it's unspeakably unfair that Scott had to die. Um, the fact of his death is, uh, tears me up inside. But Scott knew that even, even though he was dealt this hand that was so terrible, so awful, he still had choices for how, how, he, how he dealt with it. Um, and I think that's that's for me what it means to, to die well, to have a good death, is is to choose how to make meaning out of this meaningless thing that has been handed to you. Uh, so you know, Scott chose to face his death with with dignity and with clarity of purpose. Um, he chose how to spend his final days organizing and reporting and writing and being in the fight. And I think for us here today, he also chose. Uh, how to how he what what meaning he wanted to give his death, you know the fact that he got to write that article um, days be days before his death was uh, I think his giving instructions to all of us yes. who were who were behind yes. what what he wanted us to make of this uh, of this of this um, senseless act of cruelty, and um, so that's why uh, I think Michael asked me to to mention a few things some specific concrete ways that we can carry on the fight like Scott wanted us to and. Um, if you look in your program, there's a couple of them listed here. I know there's many more, uh, but I just want to lift up a couple here. T today, immediately after this service, this internment, um, there's an opportunity to fight for a resolution, which is in front of the Des Moines City Council, a welcoming city resolution, which, uh, you know, Scott, in our revolution, was a big priority for our revolution. Um, this is a, 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 a resolution that would make um, Des Moines say that we are welcoming to all people 
that we are welcoming to to you, whether you're regardless of your immigration status. Um, this is a fight that Scott wants us to continue, and we have a we have an opportunity immediately after this. Um, a lot of us are going over to the city city uh, city council meeting. Um, the, the address is in the program um, to push the city council against their will. I would add, you know, there will be some tension in that meeting against their will to pass this resolution. So that's one that's one way we can continue Scott's memory. Um, the other way is on the issue that he that he um, he wrote his final article about health care for all, guaranteed health care, Medicare for all. Um, Michael Lighty from the National Nurses Union is coming United is coming into uh, Iowa for a series of teachings around the state to kind of teach us how we can win single payer here in the state and at a national level. There's a meeting here a week from tomorrow, um, uh, October 17th with with Michael. He's doing a teach in talking about just that. I know Scott would have been there. If Scott would have been around, he would have been there. And I would encourage all of you to be there, be there as well uh, in his memory. So um, just, to, just to wrap things up, I want to say once again, you know, like Pete said, Scott wasn't your usual reporter. Uh, he was a writer, he was an activist, he was a friend, but most importantly, he was a fighter. And uh, uh, I, I know for me personally, I'll be thinking about him on that day when we do win guaranteed health care for every last person in America. Woo!